Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Two Girls Drink Beer. I'm Stina. I'm Danielle. <laughs> Christina, do you like my shirt? I do. Where is it from? Uh, I got it secondhand, thrifted. But I feel very much like a golden girl, like Blanche Devereaux in it. It's, I cut out the shoulder pads, but it used to have some pretty intense shoulder pads. Oh, you should have left them in. It's very 80s. You it probably is. can't see, but it's got a little bit of flower print in it, too. Oh, I can see it. Don't worry. <laughs> We're going to... Dun, 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 the last one in the um, New Belgium pack. I'm looking forward to it. So, we... No, you're not. Don't I, lie. I know I'm not. This can is awesome. kind of cool. I like it. Really awesome. <laughs> so, we have the same, um, like... Skeleton Man from the Voodoo Ranger IPA. Yes. This one is Liquid Paradise IPA, but mm-hmm. also it's Voodoo Ranger. And we see half of his body, the the top half on one side of the can and the bottom half on the other. He's he's lounging by the pool. So is this like a relaxed Voodoo Ranger? This is Voodoo Ranger on vacation. I like that. <laughs> I feel like that's what they should have named it. <laughs> Well, Liquid Paradise is a really good name for a beer, I will I say. Know. And I also, I really like the Rubber Ducky. There are three, to be exact. Oh, they're like yeast eggs. We are looking at 7.8%. I want to say, I don't remember, I think this is the highest one in the pack. I think so. I think Voodoo Ranger was 7%. This one's 7.8. Want to crack these open? Yes. I've been drinking a lot this weekend, so I am slightly hungover, just slightly, just a teensiest little bit. So hopefully it's a little hair of the dog for me. Did you not want to ruin your nails? I can't, yeah, no. (laughs) You're running out. I don't want to ruin them. Oh my God, it smells. I like it. It actually smells really good. It smells like, um, it smells like a IPA, but it's got a little fruity to it. It smells, yeah, I smell like hops and sweet. I smell a little citrusy. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's It happens in stages, but the stages happen very fast, right? So you first get hit with that, like, fruit and that sweet, and then you're like, oh, wait, I'm drinking beer, and then the aftertaste, and after aftertaste, it's all hops. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me try to get the sweet and fruit. Yeah, it is very, very hoppy. Uh, Look, I did a perfect pour. Look at you. You're learning. I'm learning. Um, It's very rich in color. I I don't think... Oh, my microphone just fell. It's not super hazy. I have warm lighting in my room, so it's kind of hard to tell. It's showing Um, up clear on yours, but mine is pretty... This does seem pretty hazy to me. I think it tastes better out of the can. I agree. Out of the can, I got the sweetness. Yeah. But now I'm not getting as much of the sweetness first um, in the glass. It's kind of like all hitting me at once. I feel like you can taste more of the hops out of the glass. I'm not necessarily a fan of just... (laughs) Shock, shock, surprise, surprise. Danielle hates another IPA. (laughs) I'm sorry. It's just... uh, It's like... Okay. The hops taste is overpowering. But would you agree that this tastes different than the Voodoo Ranger we drank last time? Definitely. Thank you. Because Dave and I had this argument where he's like, every IPA tastes the same. And they don't. Sorry. I don't mean to make a face. I am very, very sorry. But just like the hoppy like bite on my it's just I don't know you're not offending me you're allowed not to like something as we've had this conversation before I think the more that I have the less I get surprised with that hop it's not like oh my god I forgot that this is like a kick in the pants ain't that a kick in the pants we don't have to worry about copyright infringement because those aren't the words (laughs) I don't know the words I've never really listened to that song we just hear this Italian music or Italian-esque music in the background. And then when we actually sit down to learn the uh, sing it, it's like, ah. You know, we didn't mention this in our upload episode when they're touring the different, like, other heavens. And there's the one that's Italy. He's like, it's all Italian America. Frank Sinatra's just pumped in there. 20- <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Sillies aside, we finish this pack. Yes. Danielle. 
rate them from your favorite to your least favorite. So as a reminder, we have Liquid Paradise IPA. Yes. Voodoo Ranger IPA. Mm hmm Shift. Shift. There you go. Got and it. Mountain Time. And Mountain Time. Go. Mountain Time's number one. Knew it. Shift number two. Yep. This is number three. Yep. I knew and it. Ranger is number four. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you know me too well. I knew it. What knew three it. words? Go. This one might be my, this one and Mountain Time are kind of tied for me, Ooh, okay. which is weird because they're like very different, but I would rate them um, the same. And then I would do uh, Voodoo Ranger IPA and then Shift at the bottom. Shift gets number four. Basic beer. What's wrong with being basic, Christina? Oh, I am not basic as, Listen, as you know. I feel like I'm borderline basic. You're too unique to be basic. <laughs> and I will fight anyone who disagrees with that statement. You send them to me. I have basic taste in beer. I forgive you. Thank you. Well, you might that might change after the upcoming weeks. Because yeah. Danielle and I have another variety pack. Mm -hmm. And I had never heard of this brand before. I just walked into the liquor store by me and I was like, you guys have variety packs? Cool, great, bye. That was the only one they had. Sufferfest. Yes. Have you ever had Sufferfest? No, I haven't. And I've actually never heard of it. Where's okay. it from? I we're, we'll find out in the upcoming okay. weeks. I don't I don't know. What occasion would you drink this beer at? Well, the next time I have one, I think I'd like to have it afternoon. <laughs> it is it's, basically afternoon. It's no, 11, it's eleven fifty three. We're in the AM. We've got seven minutes until noon. So this is a perfectly good beer to social distance. So if I was sitting outside and I was having like a fish dinner, maybe like fish and chips outside. You would have a fish. No, but you asked me what I wanted, so I'm telling you. Sorry, am I judging you? Yeah, a little bit. So, like, a really nice day outside where you're kind of sitting in the shade and you're having, like, food that you can kind of eat with your hands, this would be a good beer for that. Yesterday was the perfect day. Amazing. Cue, cue that, um... Oh my God! What was the the El, the uh, Legally Blonde song? It's the perfect day. Oh, yeah. It was good. And then since Otis was really good, I'll do the pup date here. We went to I think it's called Wolf Gang Pup, and it's like a dog store. And they wouldn't really let me in, but they have like all these treats out. And I was like, I don't know. My dog likes peanut butter. I don't really know him that well yet. Yeah. And they gave me, they put together a bag of like a mix of like peanut butter cookies and treats. And then I also bought him like one of those silicone bowls that you pop through. So yeah. like walking, and I, we, I carried around one of Dave's cereal bowls, like ceramic bowls. I put in my pocketbook and I was like, well, the dog's going to get thirsty. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. We're slow. We're getting into that warmer weather in New Jersey where we've had a couple days where it's been like humid and disgusting. But yesterday, no humidity, perfect weather. I had I had another surprise for you, and I forgot. Oh, my gosh. I have notes. We have some amazing announcements. Okay. And I calculated some totals not too long ago, so the numbers might be slightly different. I would like to offer this thank you to all of our listeners, followers, and viewers. Mm -hmm. Do you know that we have over 40 followers on Twitter now? We have... Over 25 subscribers on YouTube. We have over 190 followers on Instagram. We are so close to 1,000 downloads and plays. Yeah. 13 different countries. Yes. Three different states in America. And 41 different towns and cities in New Jersey. That is amazing. Christina has been looking at the stats for us on all of our platforms. I just thought like the people who kind of like tune in every week might want to know where we're at. And we are most grateful for you, for everybody who's kind of like stopped in and like watched an episode. Thank you so much. For those of you who have been there from the beginning, watch the podcast and more importantly, the outline of the podcast and the YouTube channel grow. Yeah. Um, thank you just so much because this is, these numbers are small, but they're growing. And I'm just, I was like writing them down. I was like, oh, we did this. We started from scratch and we did this. This is awesome. So 
Isn't that great? That is great. That is great because our our Twitter following as of not too long ago was one and it was me. All right, I'm going to go give the rest of this to Nicholas. Tune in next week. We will go over Sufferfest. There's three beers in this variety pack. So the next three weeks we'll do Sufferfest and then the last episode we'll rank them. That's it, I guess, right? So signing off, guys. Yes, we will see you next week. You know where to follow us. We'll put all the things here. Reach out to us. Let us know things.